Hello and welcome. My name is Dahiroth and this is Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So... I don't know why I've been thinking about games from my childhood and this is one of the first games I've ever beat outside of uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. But that being said, uh, I also called the Nintendo Hotline a lot for this game because there you can only do it in one setting and there's a lot of things to do um and for my little self back in 1993 and yeah let's just say that it was exciting when i actually did it with the help of some really kind lady in in washington anyways um but yeah, with that being said, though, uh, this is an interesting game because it's unlike any of the other Jurassic Park games that were out. Um, this takes uh, really from the novels more than it does the movie, which I think is interesting. Um, and yeah, I mean, Jurassic Park for me is something that is uh, near and dear to my heart and very part of my development right now. So, just not just in the media, but the movie, you know, how many times they went and saw that in the theaters, like how many times I've ever read the novels, one of the first big novels I ever read. Um, so, so yeah, and I don't know, just been wanting to, to kind of uh, play it, so um, let's uh, just get to it. Um, obviously, there's no save points. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Uh, yeah. Um, there's no save points, so we're going to be relying on uh, save states, save, save, save states, um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's kind of open worldish as well, um, in that you you do have an order of things to you want to accomplish, but how you go about them is kind of up to you, so. The controls are weird because of like how they have the uh the weapons set up anyways. But I often it's no excuse though. Also I have this idea that the raptors purposely set this up. Yeah, that's right. The little ones are the copies. So most of the dinosaurs when you do kill them do not come back. Um, the raptors are the exception to that rule. So some of the goals that we need to achieve uh, are going to be, first we need to restore uh, power to the park, obviously, is going to be the first thing. Um, and that's where we're headed right now. First, let's take a look down here. Oh, 
Uh, you also have to collect eggs. Well, off to a great start, let me tell you. Somewhere out there. The music, while it, it, they do have really short, um, it does have really short loops. But one of the things I do like is like I, I will listen to the soundtrack to this game. Um, I do find it somewhat relaxing, so. Come on, I got stuck. That's kind of funny, though. Try not to get crushed by a rock. Seventeen eggs left. Raptors have escaped. Do what you could, can do to stop them. You start by not hiring Dennis Nigri. Oh my goodness. Don't listen to Tim. Shoot the Gallimimus. Hey, it makes your life easier later on. Uh, so these letters um, were apparently part of a contest at some point when the game was released. Uh, it was basically who helped uh, Michael Crichton write the book for Jurassic Park, and that was uh, Dr. Horner. But there, apparently, there's. I just realized the Gallimimus have uh, duck beaks. It's kind of funny. Shut up, Tim. I 
I like how the uh, the Galmai sound is still stampeding. This area pretty good. Let's head into the utility shot. I'll just clear the roof first. They realize Alan Grant was such a badass. Honestly, it would have made more sense had it been Muldoon, but... So each level is going to have night vision or areas that are complete darkness uh, that if you do enter them without the night vision you will die and you do need to collect a battery for each individual indoor level so this was something else that was uh, unique to this game um the uh the doom isk wolfenstein 3d first person uh stuff was pretty uh, pretty awesome and you can actually use the nintendo mouse the super nes mouse with this Uh, BIOS load message error main system down action turn on generator before trying to reboot system message ends So this whole thing right here that's going on in the background. That's actually from the novel again. I Something that is pretty awesome when it comes to this game in particular in my opinion was I do think they these are people who like Jurassic Park And a one year extinct. I just get the power back on. And the uh, <laughs> the Dilophosaurus are apparently just friends, just chilling. Somehow, Dr. Malcolm has a, uh, a, a, a lab down here. Okay.
pretty much the bolas and the rocket launcher are only only two weapons that she needs. So, all right, so we're done here until we find uh, Malcolm's ID card. Do you think we're good on this side? So, let's head to Oh, there's one that was back. or some bolas up here. The thing with the bolas are is that like once you shoot it, it will go through um, multiple enemies. Run. Raptors would not attack you unless you shoot at them. Yeah, shut up. Nedry. Tim, swear to God. Alan, the Persecathalala are very territorial. Stay out of their way. into the world with one less life. Alright, well, let's head into the visitor center. Place has so many fans. Ooh. Ah. John Hammond's ID card, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
do find it silly that the Dilophosaurus is sitting in the refrigerator. Also, that the refrigerator is in, you know, off of the, uh, um, the restaurant. All right. Dennis Nedry's ID card. So, and see, this is another thing, like, these things on top, uh, they're electrified, obviously. But the, uh, what's interesting about that is that, um, in the novel, all the skylights, uh, on the visitor center were, uh, protected by, um, basically an electric fence overlay, so... It's just, it does somebody, these developers, like, to me, cared about the um, product that they were representing. And I just, I don't know, I have a appreciation for that. So we need to get to... What's right. down here, right? Ooh. 
we get night vision goggles yet? No. I don't think we have. think that the control room would be where we have to, uh, we start to act this night. We need Ellie Sattler's. Somehow she... We just kept going straight since go this way. Charge for this area. have that one area upstairs to check out. Good thing I found my ID card. All right, and that wraps up the visitor center for right now. At least until we go and get, uh, Reach the end of Jurassic Park. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tim, I know, thank you. Mr. Grant, your motion sensor will only work when the computer is rebooted. Thanks, Alex. Really, the joke's on Edry, he's a real sucker. He's riding away in a car somewhere. Aw, oh, I walked right into that. so many pop-ups. I was like, just let me do my work. Uh, that's supposed to be the visitor center. Yeah. I don't, I know, okay, so we need to get Dennis Nedry's ID card. I'm trying to remember how to get down. There's a utility shed. Uh, down this way somewhere. You know what? Glad I went back in here because oh, okay. 
Okay, here we go. I think right now, that music is very sinister. Yeah, eat that. Each utility shed, ground level. Alright, well I think that's where we'll call it here. I want to keep these videos a little bit shorter than normal, so... Let's, uh, let's call that an episode. Um, but we'll pick it up in our next one. We're gonna, we're on the hunt for Nedry's card, if I remember correctly. It's supposed to be in here. We need his card to reboot the computer, so... But, uh, yeah. With well, that being said, friends, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, hope you enjoy it. It's a fun game. So, but. Alright, well, with that being said, friends. Stay true to yourselves, follow your hearts, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.